Hi, this is Ron McTube, we're playing Hunt on PC. Today we're doing the Summer Fiesta 2016 missions. We're currently doing When the Going Gets Tough. These are a set of three missions after you've done the first five. These ones are a lot harder and uh, take a bit more time and kit. This mission we're doing now is called Master of Visual Estimation. You have to harvest a roe deer from a distance between 99 and 101 meters without using a scent spray or caller. Now, I've spotted a row there, I'm on VDB, but there's a bear in front of me and he don't want to leave me alone. Now, I've just done the bear mission, so if you haven't seen that, check my uh, channel and you can see that for the previous mission called Bear Heart. This bear just doesn't want to leave me alone. I'm trying to get round to the road there because I want to make the shot, but he just won't leave. <laughs> So just leave me alone. I know I just killed your friend a minute ago, but come on, just leave me alone now. Let me get the mission done. I don't want to shoot because of the road there. I could kill the bear quite easy, but I want to get the road there that's behind me. But this bear just won't leave me alone. Why? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot the road there. Leave me alone. But no, has to do it, doesn't it? It wouldn't leave me alone four bluff chargers, well three until it kills me. It wouldn't, it couldn't just leave me alone could it? I was just happy with leaving it to live and go on its way but no, it has to attack me. So back to the start, I didn't have any medical supplies so back to spawn and I'm going to go all the way back to where I've just been and then try and get the road here and complete the mission. I was going to edit that out but I thought you like that and you can see just some of the funny things that happen um, so I thought I'd just leave that in so you don't always go to plan and things like that are funny anyway it does make you laugh um, right so we'll get back to getting the road in road in 99 to 101 meters basically you head straight out of spawn come straight forward and there's often red deer here a brown bear or roe deer so in this case there was a brown bear and roe deer so it's a nice area to shoot because you're on a raised uh, platform above it so it's just a case of getting the distance right now I had one shot previous to this to try and do this I don't think this one's too hard actually um, and what I found is the road deer don't they will just keep walking generally but sometimes they will stop for a very sh short period of time and what I've been doing is just getting the range finder between 101 102 and then shooting it and it just seems to be pretty accurate the first shot I did was just over literally like a, a gnat's hair so I think if I just shoot a bit less than what I did shoot we'll, we'll have it done so this isn't uh, are that harder mission. I think the bear heart one before is harder and uh, the final mission which I've known about from people saying that uh, which is shoot a goose uh, with a grasshopper pistol uh, under five meters. That one will be harder and so is the bear one. This one's not too bad. If you've got a range finder like I say it's uh, just a case of trial and error get a few row deers and shooting them obviously between 99 and 101 um, and you should do it can't believe it the bears still waiting for me it's like the guardian of the mission it won't go away I will get the road here bear it will be mine look just waiting in the river between me and the road here why are you so determined to get me was the other bear your sister Right, where's this road here? There it is. So I'm going to try and get round to the right, <laughs> like before. Hopefully this bear doesn't show interest again, because I just want to get the mission done. I'm going to get down to about 100, hopefully here, and hopefully the bear doesn't turn or come towards me. It's sort of in the middle at the minute. We still may be able to do this with a bay in between us, but the road is a bit far out at the minute. Yeah, it's like 145, so I'm going to have to go closer. 
and that means closer to the beer. I think I just made the mission harder myself. Or the bear has. Dodge the bear while shooting it at 100. And that wasn't in the description. <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't come this way. You've already had enough of me. Let's not eat Ronde. Go away. Look at it. It's just watching me. It's obsessed with me. <laughs> Right, hopefully we can get around here and get the uh, distance needed. This is where my screen goes red where I'm just going to get it, you watch. I just heard something else there. Hopefully I don't get attacked from the right now, I think it was a fox who run. We're getting uh, in the right sort of area now so go forward slightly, keep an eye out for the bear and do the mission so just got a little bit harder now we should be good it's gone over to the left assuming that was a fox that ran to my right we should be good right, where's the road here keep checking come on road here where are you come on Brody is calling. All right. Try and get his distance down. There it is. What's that? 95, 97. All right. We've just got to try and get a, a bit where we know it's not going to drop down a little hole and such. And then take the shot. One more mission to go after this one. And we've completed them. In a hectic few days doing them and doing all the recording and uh, editing. But I really have enjoyed them. Like I say, I think the Ibex one was one of my favourites. Um, the Brown Bear one was good as well because that's a bit more challenging. Also, uh, apart from the missions, there is the uh, Summer Fiesta comps which uh, is split into divisions and uh, I will be in the elite one if I do this one um, you get 50 attempts and there's numerous animals you've got to kill so um, I may take part in that it just depends what time I've got it's on for quite a long while though it's on for over 30 days so that's quite a long time 50 attempts come on road there It keeps going up and down and I just wanted to get it on a flat bit so I know even if it walks it's going to be roughly about the same distance as what I want. Just trying to get about 100 metres and I'm just going to shoot it with the uh, 300. As you can probably hear someone's spamming me on Steam just at the optimum minute. It's got to be like that isn't it? <laughs> I should have turned it off but it's always the case. Right. We're getting close to where I want to get it. I just want to wait till then. Um, I guess on that grass, I think I'll uh, shoot it there. That's gone through all the rocks and little dips. I think after I've completed these missions and do some multiplayer lobby, so over the next few days, um, keep an eye out for me because I'll be jumping in to do some random multiplayer hunting. I'll probably be recording some of that as well, so. Uh, have you seen me about? Yeah, if you want to hunt, just say in game and then just come and follow me or I'll follow you even and just record your hunting. Oh, that's getting nice now. Come on. All right. If it drops down a little bit, it's a nice bit of flat ground. I'll move forward as well. I'm using the uh, basic range finder. I actually prefer this over the binocular one. Some people like that. I prefer the original one myself. And uh, I use this and then just use the normal binoculars. Right, get the 300 ready. Here we go. <laughs> when it's done, is it going to be at the distance we want? And oh, there's another road here, there as well. 
But we've shot a road here. So let's go over and collect it. Bye bye, Mr. Bear. Or Mrs. Bear. You haven't got me this time. Hopefully that's objective done. And we can move on to grass hopping, which is the final mission of the whole set. And we've completed all the summer event. So, where's the road here? There it is. Come on. It's got to be between 99 and 101 meters. Will it be? Will it be? Yep, we've done it. So that's been me, Ron McTube. We've been doing the second mission of the last three, Master of Visual Estimation. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and check out the third and last video coming up. Thanks for watching.